Are you trying to connect your click funnels to your school community using Zapier and the webhooks that school communities offer? Well, I'm going to show you how you can do that in this quick, quick video. The first thing that we need to do to connect your click funnels to your school community using webhooks is to get the webhook URL from your school community. So if you are on the school community homepage, like you can see in the background right here, you're going to click on settings on the right hand side. The screen is going to pop up and we want to go to the plugin section. We want to make sure that your webhook option is turned on. So you're going to click the edit button and you can see in the screen that just popped up, there's going to be an on off switch and there's going to be a long URL. This is our webhook URL. And the reason why you might want to use the webhooks as opposed to the official school integration is that when you invite someone to school using the webhook URL, it actually bypasses the requirement that the admin must approve the request. So the person will still receive the invite by email saying you've been invited to the community, but when they click and sign up to join, they don't need to wait to be approved by the admin. So there is one benefit over using the webhooks versus the official school integration. What you want to do is you want to copy paste this link to a text document because we're going to need this in the Zapier section when we set up the actual steps. Now we need to set up the actual Zap. In some cases, your Zap might look just as simple as this. Two steps of click funnels opt-in and then add them to the school community using a Zapier webhook. And the reason we might have a Zap as simple as this is let's say you have set up your landing page or your funnel on ClickFunnels. So you have a page that says, hey, do you want to get access to a free course or get access to a free community of X and Y type of people? Then enter your name and your email and then we would get send them the invite to the school community. So the first step is very simple. That is just your ClickFunnels opt-in. And you can see here when you receive the test data, you're going to receive a first name and an email. This is typically what you're going to have in an opt-in. And the second step is the webhook, the Zapier webhook. It's a little bit more technical, but don't worry. All we need is just that URL that you copy pasted earlier from school. And to set up the webhook step in Zapier, you just need to copy paste in that URL. Obviously I've blacked it out because you don't want to share your URL with anyone because in theory, then they can invite any person they want. And the magic is all you need to do is add at the end here a question mark and then email equals and then the variable from the ClickFunnels first step that says email. When we are setting up the Zapier webhook, you want to make sure that it is a post request. It must be a post request because this is what school is expecting. And if you use something different, it's just not going to work. It's, it's going to say it doesn't understand. And that's really all there is to it to set up this automation. A quick reminder, what this automation is going to do is using the webhooks, you can actually bypass the admin approval when you invite someone to a school community. So this is how you can connect quickly ClickFunnels to a school community using Zapier. You could obviously do it with other no-code tools, but you would need to work out the steps, but the concepts are the same. If you want help setting up these types of automations for your businesses, scaling operations, automating operations, you can obviously reach out to me because that is what I do as a no-code automation expert.